Good day to you. I hope you're doing well. Hello and welcome again to another episode of whatever the hell this is. I'm Mustafa Gharib and I'm here to remind you once again that Linux gaming is a thing. Maybe I don't say this much, but I'm the proud cat brother of two adorable cats, Wiki and Goosey. And I call myself their cat brother because my sister, the cats, and I are all children to my mom, who is the ultimate cat mom. So I'm not a cat daddy by any means, and even if I were pleased, don't call me that. The internet has completely ruined that word, along with a lot of other words. By all means, let's sign a petition to stop people from calling each other daddy. No, I'm serious. No, I, I, I'm 100% serious. We need that to happen. The daddy epidemic needs to stop! As a fellow cat lover and gamer, I was as hyped up as... 60,000 other cat-loving gamers who awaited the release of the most anticipated game of the year. Or maybe just this month, to avoid exaggerating. Stray, a game made by French indie developers B12 Studios and published by Annapurna Interactive. And because some of you might have thought the previous episode of whatever the hell this is was too on the nose, I decided to show you how my first hour of gameplay went. No spoilers, no exposition dumps, just my first impressions of the game, which are all by far positive. Speaking of positivity, you're probably thinking, Oh, it's a cute cat game. This is gonna be a very wholesome, fun game that I can enjoy. Well, you got half of it right, but this game is going to place you between heavenly moments where you can enjoy your time vicariously living through a cat, or moments coming from the seventh circle of hell where you, as a stray cat, need to survive. Need I remind you that the game's name is Stray and not House? You need a strong conflict to make a good story-rich game, and in that domain, Stray delivers. Basically, as you may have inferred from the trailer, your feline protagonist finds itself stuck in a cyberpunk city, and in this city, he... or she? Nobody really has a clue. I mean, it, it would also be weird if they draw genitals on the cat. I'm looking at you, Rockstar, with your horse balls. You can try and sue me, but joke's on you. Because I'm broke. So it's a male cat because he was based on two actual male stray cats, Murtaugh and Oscar. That's pretty heartwarming. In this city, the cat finds itself the savior of the robot citizens of a neon-lit slum. And what does he save them from, you ask? An army of slimy, creepy, red-eyed motherf- Yeah, they're called jerks. Wanna know how I feel about them? You take the Z, replace it with an H, and you get- <laughs> That'll also be how you feel about them. And there's a lot of other feelings you'll feel about these little shits, none of them positive. And if that says anything about the game, it's actually pretty great. Now when it comes to the rest of the game, you can do almost anything a cat can do. You can sleep. In real time, the game really doesn't care how long you let the cat sleep, and it actually rewards you with an achievement if you go over an hour. You can scratch carpets, sofas, and even doors. And the latter sometimes prompts the people living behind these doors to let you in. You can do a lot of cat parkour, jumping on rooftops, air conditioners, rusty pipes. You can even push stuff off to the ground, as a cat does. And now I kind of understand why they do that. Because, as my observations conclude, it's apparently quite fun to watch stuff fall off the edge and into the ground. Or the abyss. Am I a cat? <laughs> you can also, you know, press a button to meow. Funny how I didn't mention that before, you know? Yeah, I definitely didn't buy the entire game just for that. <laughs> now, does this game simply rely on the you play as a cat factor as a crutch? Good question. No? Well, yeah, kind of. But actually, like, basing its entire hype for the past five years on... Uh, sorry, seven years on that? You, you, are, you are wrong, mister or mistress. There are so many words the internet has ruined, including a word that pertains to cats, which I will not utter here. Maybe take me to Mordor and you'll find that... On, on second thoughts... No. You know, this... This Tolkien reference is over. <laughs> Jokes aside, best 26 bucks I've ever spent. That's to say it's really worth buying. I'm also impressed that the game looks this good. With 6 gigabytes of file size and conveniently affordable system requirements, it packs so much into it. Not necessarily a large open world or a lot of levels, but yeah, by the way, this game doesn't take too long to beat. But simply the fact that B12 decided to take this small patch of map and make it look so intricate, so huge, and so alive, that you can get very easily immersed into it and never want to get out. Although it kinda irked me that the robots had almost the same reactions to everything, which I guess is okay because I don't think that really affects the quality of the game or anything. 
What I'm saying is at least each robot reacts as per their characteristic function in the game. Whether it's Marus the musician, Elliot the programmer, or the adorable granny who sews clothes for in the entire slum, you get what I mean. So am I recommending this game? Let me rephrase that. Am I literally saying that this game is the perfect investment and it would be a fatal mistake not to buy it? Because if you don't, you'll miss out on every good feeling in life. Well, not really, but you know, give the game a try, that's amazing. I don't think at all that this game was overhyped. On the contrary, it lives up to its hype quite nicely. In a way, it really is a testament to how larger maps, longer playtime, and being grindy are things that do not a good game make. AAA game companies have not only a page to borrow from indie developers, but a whole book. It really is easy to figure out what makes a game tick and what makes it replayable once you stop milking money from your own player base. Not that I don't own any EA games or anything, but just a reminder that Electronic Arts meant to stand for something before, um, well, before everything went to shit there. B12, on the other hand, did a great job, and landing the title of top-rated game on Steam, at least for a while, is a well-deserved achievement by such a passionate and dedicated group of developers. That also includes the cats. You have all given humanity a great gift, and I, on behalf of humanity, thank you this gift. I can't wait to see what B12 will surprise us with next. It doesn't have to be another cat game, you know, but uh, with what I've seen in Stray, I'm quite hyped for what they're going to come up with next. That's all for today, I hope this video was informative enough, and I do hope that if you play Stray, you support the developers by paying for the game. I'm definitely not condoning piracy, but you know, you can go ahead and pirate the game, I'm not your dad. But paying for the game directly supports the developers, and I believe any less than that would not be adequate gratitude for all the effort that they have made. Anyway, thank you for watching, I am Mustafa Gharib, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.